Hello and good morning. My name is Natasha Bridge Mohan, President and CEO of the Bridge Group of Companies and Licensed Mortgage Broker with Mortgage Intelligence. Welcome to the Financial Room and welcome today my guest and hope you're very excited about today's topic. We're actually going to be talking about flipping properties in a hot market. Now this has been a really big trend that's happening in the media right now and in the real estate industry. You have TV shows, you have media everywhere, you have news articles, you have magazine write-ups, you have social media buzzing about this great, great new um, way of making money in real estate which is called flipping. Now flipping houses can be you know, referenced in terms of buying and selling in terms of doing renovations, buying and selling in terms of doing advanced construction such as additions and so forth or even new builds. But let's talk about short-term flipping, where you're buying a property and you're renovating, putting some lipstick and probably doing some small here and there repairs in terms of windows, roofs, giving it some curb appeal in terms of great landscaping. So let's say short-term flipping in about six to 12 months. So we're gonna talk about that today. This is a very exciting topic and I, I have a lot of friends and colleagues that are in this industry and that, that do a lot of construction renovation in the flipping market. Now, who is buying these real estate properties and who are the flippers per se? Um, that's a really great question. You've got professionals, you have husband and wife teams, you have partners, uh, you have small organization, you have incorporation. Lots of different people are doing um, short-term flips. Why? Because very simple, you make a lot of money. So let's talk about the advantages of buying real estate and flipping it. I would say the most uh, biggest advantage is that you're making money really, really quickly. So you're making liquid money in terms of profiting after your expenses and your cost of borrowing and so forth. So making quick money and turning it around and leveraging and buying more and doing more, you can build a really nice pretty nest egg in terms of retirement if you're doing it right and again if you have the right team. So that's a big advantage of flipping real estate. Another advantage of flipping real estate is you are able to make money not only really quickly, but you're able to make a lot of money. So you're talking at an average of anywhere between 10 to millions of dollars worth of real estate profit up to maybe one or two projects can actually carry that uh, type of investments even if you're not doing multiple acquisitions. So that's something to think about too as well. So making lots of money, making money really quickly, it's, it's also a great advantage as, as mentioning. And another advantage too that it can also retire you if you do this really, really well. So making a lot of money, making it quick, and a retirement strategy is really, really good. If you love real estate and you really don't want to be a landlord, but you do like to get your hands, you know, uh, dirty or you like to oversee or you like to be a project manager, this is something that, that can be very, very beneficial for you or your partner and so forth. There's a lot of husband and wife teams out there. So buying and selling and flipping real estate is, is, is a really great venture to get into, again, if you have the right team. Disadvantages. Disadvantages, there are a lot of tax implications. So if you don't have a great accountant that gives you great tax advice, you can run into some really big, big trouble with a big guy, CRA. Also, if you don't have the right team, can actually set you back. If you don't have the right construction budget, can also set you back. The most important thing is Flipping 101 is when you buy that property, you must make sure that you buy it in the right, for the right price. That's the first precedence in buying real estate and flipping and knowing that you're going to make money at the end game is your acquisition price. So make sure that your purchase price is, has, is, is definitely what you should have bought it for. Do a lot of due diligence. Make sure you have a really great real estate team on board, a really good law team, really good construction team, project management team if you're not really experienced in it and also good trades and so forth, and also budget. Budget and scheduling is very, very important. Another setback is if you get into, into structural changes, major changes, also permits for electrician and plumbing can also take quite a bit of time. If you don't have the right system and you don't know what you're doing, that can also set you back in timeline. So flipping and making money is really, really great. It's on time, on budget, on schedule for successful approach, but can also set you back if you don't know what you're doing. So get educated, get the right team, and also, again, get the right mortgage broker to get you a really competitive cost of borrowing. The cheaper it is to borrow against real estate, the more higher is your return at the end game. So again, make sure that you do your due diligence, get a right team, ask those right questions, and make sure that you buy a property that has a really great exit strategy, and liquid pricing is also very, very good. Putting a property really, let's put it this way, putting a property that's too high or overpriced may also kind of put a little bit damper in terms of your estimated gross income that you expect to make off of this flip. So make sure that you price right to liquidate on time. 
So again, thank you for you know reaching out and listening to my show. It's great having you here. Um, again, if you want more information, please don't uh, hesitate to visit me on YouTube. Contact me at toll free one eight six six five five three seven four six seven or our website at www.thebridgegroup.ca. Have a great weekend and take care and see you soon.